What's up everybody, Nathan here, and welcome back to a competitive modern league. I'm about to start round three, but before I do, I have a big favor to ask you. If you've watched my channel at all, you know that I don't ask my viewers for things. I just try to make good content and I hope that people naturally like and subscribe and, and do the basic stuff. But I've recently started a new YouTube channel about another big passion of mine. You guys know one of them, it's Magic the Gathering, but the second one is around photography. And specifically, my favorite thing to do in photography is combine it with my love of the outdoors. And I like to go hiking and take footage uh, or take pictures of amazing landscapes. And if you watched my video about Opt, you saw a little bit of that. And this channel is going to be mostly all of that. I'll probably touch on some other things. I'm also going to mix in some travel, stuff like that. But the favor that I'm asking is to help me get it off the ground. What I'd like is for you to go check it out and I'm gonna put a link right here and I'm gonna put a link in the description of the video now if you enjoy the video I would really appreciate it if you'd like it and if you want to see more I would appreciate it even more if you would subscribe to the YouTube channel now you don't have to and I'm not gonna be upset if you don't but for those of you that really want to support me and have enjoyed the content I've put out on YouTube related to Magic the Gathering I would really appreciate it if you would give this content a chance okay that being said about that, I have just one more thing to say, and that is the new layout. Somebody commented on a video and said, hey, it's a little hard to see on my phone screen. And I looked at the video and realized that I had forgotten to resize my screen, my desktop, so that it filled out my layout as much as possible. But my layout was really old, and I have always thought about doing something a little bit better and so I sat down and thought how can I make this layout better not just look better but how can I make the layout better for the people who are watching it and it took me about 30 seconds to come up with the solution which is the game really needs to fill the whole screen it's about the game and you want people to see just as much of it as possible and make it as readable as possible so I'm trying something different here which is instead of having this bar on the side that had some information and had a picture of me I kinda realize that Magic Online has this spot here this lower I guess right hand corner on the screen is always kinda empty and so I can put you know the picture of me down there because I, I do think people like to see the person playing the game and then at the top I can shrink things just in such a way that I have you know my my Instagram and my Twitter at the top and then any other information miscellaneous that I might want to put so hopefully you guys enjoy this I'm recording at 1440p for those of you that have a little bit larger monitor everything should scale just fine down to 1080p as well um, and this should allow you to see more of the screen again that being the idea and the preview window I normally have I I could kind of like put it here where this mouse is, but then it's going to cover other things. And I think if I'm filling the whole screen with the game, hopefully I don't need the preview window. Okay, I think I've said enough that isn't playing Magic. I'm going to jump into a game. See you in one second. All right, match is up. And this is obviously a mulligan. We are on the draw, but like tap Sulphur Falls into Serum Visions to try to find more lands. Seems real, uh, real slow. We can't even hold up spell snare. I'm, I would almost consider keeping it because I could potentially, if this was like we have a lot of ones, but but the fact that it's a sulfur falls really tips the balance in the other direction. So I'm gonna mulligan into. It's not great, but it's okay. We have a lot of removal, and one counter spell. We have two lands. It would be better if this was a like a fetch. To get another blue land or even just an island. Fetch would be best. We'll go ahead and keep this one. And hopefully, um, we are playing a match in which I really want to hit my third land drop, but. I'm going to scry this to the bottom, actually. I, I know I have a lot of stuff to get back with Snapcaster Mage, but if I don't find a third land, it's kind of pointless. So I want to make sure that I, hit, I want to increase my chances to hit the land drop. I'm going to put Snapcaster Mage on the bottom of the library. By the way, if you haven't, go ahead and give me a follow on my social media stuff up there, Twitter and Instagram. Okay, so things are underway here. Uh, 
That could be useful. Let's get this Scalding Tyrant. That's going to be getting a Steam Vents. This Bolt already does nothing. I'm not sure what we're playing. Could be like a... Uh, probably a like an Enchantress type deck. Just playing a bunch of enchantments and looking to lock us out of the game. That's going to be my guess. Hopefully this Spell Snare and this Logic Knot are useful. I'm gonna if you they usually have a lot of two mana things to do so I'm gonna guess that oh we're playing against boggles huh I don't really want him to draw a card but I'd rather save this spell snare for the one card that's really huh you know what I I am going to spell snare this. Wait a second. This is not there's no way this is Boggles running Leyline. I'm going to let it resolve and just bolt it right away. Save the spell snare hopefully for something else. Okay, now let's play the island in case we need to logic not something sneeze oh and we changed clothes actually no i was reviewing the footage before i posted this round and realized that my pause button didn't work correctly or my unpause button to continue the recording and i lost the rest of round one so i'm going to pick it up from a recording here to make sure that you guys see the rest of it so where we left off is that i bolted a core spirit dancer played a land i then i sneezed or something like that and here we are um So I just said go at this point. He still did nothing. I said go. Crypt, Crypt Command is pretty good. He, he obviously doesn't have any threats, so probably want to save it for uh, for a threat because he's, he's just holding a handful of enchantments, and we have some ways to interact with his creatures that we normally can't interact with, so that's good for us. And now we have that Cryptic Man live, which is fantastic. Now I opted to Logic Knot here, and in the recording that you missed, I was kind of waffling between Logic Knot and Cryptic Command. The reason I wanted a Cryptic Command was just so I could go ahead and um, keep the keep you know get some card velocity going instead of drawing one card next turn I'll effectively have seen two additional ones as well as countering the threat I also have logic knot up um, I elected to I elected to logic knot um, in the event that he was trying to like push through some counter spells and had something like a ledge walker and the glade cover scout but I think that was kind of what's the word I think that was being a little bit um, too safe and it I think if he had a threat, he would have played it because the longer the game goes, the less that it's in his favor. Like, the longer the game goes with him not doing anything, the more time he gives us a chance to find a way to win. So I think it would have been right to Cryptic Command over the Logic Knot because in, we still have Logic Knot up after the fact. Okay, so I helixed, our, I helixed us. So it, it's even more likely now that we'll be able to um, counter his threats because we can cryptic and then snap cryptic. Oops, that went really quickly. Um, so what I ended up doing was bouncing the ley line with the cryptic command. Um, my thought being... I want to try to shut the door on this game, so now I can like bolt, snap, bolt, or bolt, bolt, electrolyze. And I and I kind of went back and forth, like, do I want to save the, do I want to save it for threat? Um, I decided not to. I got my Snapcaster Mage path, and I don't want to be too. Um, 
well, I'll just say that you know now we're in a position where we we can't counter a hexproof creature were he to play one. So now we've kind of what 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 I initially said was a good use of cryptic command. We've kind of taken that option away from ourselves, which is just to make sure that we keep countering the few threats that he has. And didn't also think about the fact that this deck does run path, and we might might not be able to really get all the way there with Snapcaster Mage. Now, all that being said, um, you're pretty you're 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 up against the wall pretty badly against this deck because Boggles is by far and away the worst matchup for Jeskai. So he plays a creature, suits it up. But we drew Snapcaster Mage, so we have a chance to. Um, block this glade cover scout and we also get to do something creative with a, with a cryptic command so hopefully he just swings in here so he plays this griff's boon which gives this flying um i could have like snap countered the griff's boon but I didn't want to because I just wanted to make sure that he attacked. And so my option here, what I'm choosing to do instead is to snap bounce to make him attack. Because if he knows that he has no way to clear out the Snapcaster Mage, if I go snap counter this, he's just not going to attack with the Glade Cover Scout. So we play the Snapcaster Mage as planned, target the Cryptic Command. So he has path number two, and we don't get to block. But not all is lost. We've uh, drawn a spell queller. So obviously, clearly, we're going to plan to play this spell queller here. Gives it flying, but thankfully our spell queller flies. And let's play this and go ahead and block this thing. Get it off the board. Okay, never mind, he has path number three. And we're out of basics. All right, well. Maybe we can draw something like a cryptic command or something to buy a turn here. But it's land and we can't interact with this creature. So that was definitely a mistake on my part. I should have saved the counter spells for the creatures. I was Our opponent was like at 18 life. It was too early to try and get aggressive with that Snapcaster Mage. I should have known that he was going to have a path to exile. I don't know that I would have won this game overall, but we would have been in a much better position had we just not used the snap in that fashion. We could have cryptic commanded this. Um, what we should have done is probably just cryptic commanded the first one. And then we had a snap and snap cryptic commanded this one. Um, but we made a mistake. I made a mistake and lost the game. Okay, I'll see you guys at round, or game two of this round. Realize you guys wouldn't be able to see how I sideboarded. Um, so, let's see what we got here. I took out four Path to Exiles. I brought in a Wear Tear. I brought in two Supreme Verdicts. I brought in two Vendillion Clicks. And I trimmed a Search for Azkanta. Boggle. Just going to get an island and play this. Now I expect to see something like, uh, 
I forget what they're called. The, the enchantments that make it so that if you destroy this, it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, put lightning bolts into your graveyard. No. We won't beat the card. At, well, there's a lot of things we won't beat, but we certainly won't beat a card advantage engine in Core Spirit Dancer, so we're kind of forced to get rid of that. I mean, we're already probably going to lose, but we're almost certainly going to lose if he starts drawing, you know, two or three cards a turn off this Core Spirit Dancer. All right, so you just played a Core Firewalker. Um... That's going to make the burn him out plan significantly worse. No, let's draw the Serum Visions. Uh, I'm going to go bottom. Bottom, although I did need a white source for um, Supreme Verdict, so maybe that was a mistake. I'm going to hold on to this Logic Knot. Also, I don't, um, I don't think that I would build a search for Azkanta deck now that I've played it a few times exactly like this. I would almost certainly, um, put Wear Tear. No, I will draw that as well. So I would want to put, like, I think you want to put Thought Scour definitely in the deck. If you're going to be on on this card, I think you want four Thought Scours, and if you don't do anything on turn one, you want to Thought Scour yourself as Kanta on two. I might tweak this deck a little bit on my own, but another Core Firewalker. Uh, does this count as a red spell? I guess not if I just cast the one half. But I guess I'm doing it anyway, so I can just be safe and... Okay, yeah, it's just the white half. Just making sure. Anyway, I think you, you want to you wanna get this online as fast as you can. So if he's going to play that white spell we just talked about, obviously we will logic not that. Yeah, Daybreak Coronet. Uh, for one. I mean, we're we're on like a I guess a three turn clock here. Steam vents. Uh, I'm gonna put that into the graveyard. Because we need to get another white source and a supreme verdict. So I guess we can put this on top. And then we have this cryptic command to tap his team next turn. And we get our second white source in play. Assuming he just doesn't play enough enchantments to kill us this turn, which is surely possible. All right, well, there goes that idea. <laughs> well, I guess we, we're going to one here. And we are drawing a spell that... Uh, a pain-free land. No, we need the planes. We have some small chance. The Umbras. If he plays an Umbra, all right, we'll tap draw. Clock 
Click's not going to do it. Yes, put logic not in the graveyard. I mean, I guess we might as well transform it. Boo. Uh, yeah, we're dead. I guess we get theory block, but then we just die to these guys. What, I don't know what order this was, but there was a Supreme Verdict somewhere in the top four cards. Okay, well, round three was against the, the Nightmare matchup, the worst matchup. Uh, kind of punted a game one, but I don't, I don't think we were going to win anyway. I mean, there was a chance, right? There's always a chance, but this is the worst matchup. There's a really small chance. Um, although, if we had won the first game and then maybe this game went a little bit better, we might have... This, he didn't have, like, the best start. He didn't have any of the Umbras and so on and so forth. Man. Cast it. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please like and consider subscribing if you're not already. I will see you guys tomorrow.